I feel like I'm in a nativity scene right now. I'm Paula Froelich. Take a journey with me to explore the unknown and discover the unexpected. This is Abroad Abroad. The adventure starts now. Two hours from Oman's capital of Muscat is the former capital city of Nizwa, whose fort has towered over the city for almost 350 years. On Fridays, in the shadow of its refurbished walls is a truly insane experience, the city's famed cattle market. Livestock is unloaded starting at 5 a.m., and the only modern thing about this entire scene is the wheels they roll up in. At first, the market is pretty quiet, Men talk to each other while tying their livestock to metal structures that look like bike racks. And then suddenly you turn around and the market is jam-packed full of people. It's not for the faint of heart or PETA supporters. Look at this one, it's still got its umbilical cord attached. This little baby cow. Prospective buyers walk around eyeballing the four-legged goods. And with the bidding about to start, I asked a local about how the whole thing goes down. I bring my goats, stand here, I'm there. Anyone trusts to come, I give them my price, we start negotiating, and then he takes the goat, and that's it. Bye. The other way to sell your livestock is to hire an auctioneer to show off the goods. And these guys were pros. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Auctioneers are walking the goats around. They'll walk them around three or four times until the bidding has reached its peak, and then you get a goat. So while they're walking around, people are, like, roping the goats and feeling them and checking their teeth just to, like, see if they're good quality goats, you know? Traditionally, men do the shopping and trading in Oman. And while there are women there, they have to have a man negotiate the deals for them. Which, at least for this lady, didn't look like such a bad setup. Like any good bidding war, sometimes things got a little heated. In the midst of all this mess, there actually was a civilized goat deal going down, and I finally got let in on the goat groping secrets. Are you looking for the meat, how much you need in the goats? Oh, so, yeah, is he going to eat this goat? Or sorry? He's going to eat it, but not today. Okay. Until eats coming after Ramadan, so that they, they, they can't do Okay, so the goats are done. And in like two hot seconds, they're gonna bring the cows in. And it's about to get real. Note to self, do not mess with a cranky cow. If I was gonna take something home, I'd probably do a little baby goat. If somebody could figure out how to stunt their growth and they just stayed like that, amazing. We'd have no more garbage problems in New York at all. Shockingly enough, I did manage to resist the urge to bring home a pet goat for baby Carl. But I gotta admit, Nizwa has the market cornered on cute kids both four-legged and two-legged. Don't eat my chin, or oh, someone's got my pants. On the next episode of Abroad Abroad, I spy an oasis from a mountaintop that's straight out of Arabian Nights, and it's even better close up. Oh my God!